The Queen is reportedly deeply upset by Prince Harry's very personal criticisms of the royal family, but Prince Charles is keen for reconciliation. The royals have been rocked by Prince Harry unleashing a string of truth bombs that started with the interview he and his wife Meghan Markle gave to Oprah Winfrey in March. The 36-year-old has since gone on to speak to Dax Shepard on the Armchair Expert podcast, saying his life was like the film The Truman Show and that he had felt more free since moving to the U.S. The Duke of Sussex also said he moved to the U.S. with Meghan and baby son Archie to escape his genetic pain. Harry then claimed his family had showed total neglect for his mental health in an Oprah documentary, The Me You Can't See. The string of claims has reportedly rocked the royal family back in the UK. An unnamed source told the Mail on Sunday, Harry's grandmother has taken this very personally and is deeply upset by what Harry has said, in particular his comments about Charles's parenting and suggesting his father knows no better because of how he was brought up. It has been a very upsetting time. Dot anger within the royal family is said to have intensified following Harry's comments on the Me You Can't See, the Apple TV Plus series looking at mental health. Among the barbs, Prince Harry claimed his father, Charles, had let him and his brother suffer in childhood. But despite the attacks, Charles is said to want a reconciliation. A friend told the paper, I don't think the prince will cut his son off, despite what Harry has said. Charles will want to engage, but it's fair to say what Harry has said in both interviews with Oprah has been seen as very callous within the family. If Harry was to attack the Queen in a more personal way, Charles would close ranks with the Queen without a doubt, and Harry would be out in the cold. Dot the friend added, Charles is such a gentleman and a dedicated father first and foremost. He'll be feeling wretched. He wants to seek a reconciliation. He is not vindictive at all. The comments come after a royal aide revealed the royals were struggling to understand what Prince Harry hopes to achieve with his tell-all interviews. Everyone is struggling to understand what he gets from, or hopes to achieve, by interventions like this, the insider told the Daily Mail. It is perfectly possible to campaign effectively on the issue of mental health without talking in such intimate detail about his own experiences. Dot in the TV series Harry said he felt compelled to step away from the firm as he was controlled through fear and told not to talk about his trauma. The Duke claimed Charles left him to suffer amid total neglect for his mental health, while Meghan wept into her pillow after she was smeared by the firm. In stunningly candid moments during the episode, Harry launched blistering attacks on his close relatives, and even admitted to past drug use and booze binges to escape from his anguish. He revealed he's been in therapy for four or five years, while also opening up about turning his back on Britain and his family to break the cycle of grief being passed down the generations. Harry also spoke out about his wife Meghan's mental health struggles, saying, Meghan decided to share with me the suicidal thoughts and the practicalities of how she was going to end her life. The scariest thing for her was her clarity of thought. Dot he also blasted his own dad Charles, saying he did little to help him through his struggles. He said, 
My father used to say to me when I was younger, he used to say to both William and I, well, it was like that for me, so it's going to be like that for you. Dot that doesn't make sense. Just because you suffered, that doesn't mean your kids have to suffer. Actually quite the opposite if you suffered, do everything you can to make sure that whatever negative experiences you had, you can make it right for your kids. Dot Harry also spoke in the documentary about suffering through a nightmare time in his life from when he was 28 until 32. In the final episode of the series, Harry spoke about how his mother continues to have a major impact on his family life. I wish she could have met Megan. I wish she was around for Archie, Harry said of his mom. I got a photo up in his nursery. And it was one of the first words that he said. Apart from Mama, Papa, it was then Grandma, Grandma Diana. It's the sweetest thing, but at the same time makes me really sad, he said. The series also features special guests talking about their own mental health experiences, including Lady Gaga and Glenn Close. The episodes tackle different topics related to mental health, such as not being afraid to ask for help, finding what works for you, and finding the right community to heal.